Okay, we're back here live at the Velocity Conference. I'm John Furrier. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. Uh, we're here with Barbara Burmese, who's from the Canadian Broadcasting Company. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very Corporation. much. Corporation, I mean, <laughs> CBC. CBC, that's right. Um, you're giving a talk here about uh, slimming down for a whole nation, really about performance. You're, yeah. you're hitting that performance milestone uh, mark here. Um, talk about what you guys talked about in the keynote, and then we can talk about media performance, because you have to deliver rich media that's to right. mobile devices. That's we had right. AT&T on, it's not that's a right. trivial task. That's right, so yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're trying to focus on performance um, because we want to deliver content to millions of people, right? And uh, it's, it's even uh, CBC's mandate to really provide content programming in the most efficient uh, means. And uh, that to us means we want to focus on performance and we've really started uh, to uh, create a, a culture of performance with uh, setting up a bunch of tools uh, that help us monitor how our performance is doing. So yeah, that's what we're doing. What are, what are you seeing about velocity? What's, what's your, 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 uh, how would you describe to the folks out there what Velocity is? Uh, Velocity is a great conference to meet people who have the same passion, um, who uh, really believe in, in, in uh, focusing on performance and making performance a, an important piece of uh, deployment and development. Um, and yeah, it's a great, great way to connect people. I've met so many great But uh, this is people. not just a front end show. Yeah. It's got a little, it's got DevOps, you got cloud, you got exactly. performance, and you got design. Exactly. Kind of all. All together, exactly. And it's nice to connect those and connect with those people from all those areas, yeah, definitely. What have you learned from this environment that you could share with folks out there that are trying to do that? I mean, because what I would say is that this conference has, to me, I've, what I've learned the most in, uh, in, in talking to the folks here in theCUBE is this is an integrated mindset. So there's a mindset, one, yeah. and two, there's design. There's actually coding yeah. <laughs> to be done. And oh, by the way, we've got to push into production. Yeah, so yeah. that's a holistic mindset, and, and, and that's kind of what the market wants to do, but not everyone's there yet. So what would you share with folks out there about how do they do that? Um, well, again, it's, it's about um, um, finding the right people, finding also the right uh, questions to ask, I find. So you, you, you probably want to go to those conferences with a, with a set of questions uh, that you want to get answered, and then look for the people. Uh, the ad attendee directory is a really great place to, to start and get an insight of what people are here, and then uh, connect with them, ask, ask the questions that you want to get answered at. So with mobile devices, how has that changed your world and your job? Because mobile is not it's early, it's still early. I mean, the iPhone only came out in 2007, but, but how has it changed your job in handling performance on the web? From oh the yeah, web? so our mobile team, we, we, I was actually the first person on the mobile team uh, with another uh, co-worker, and we created a bunch of uh, all three mobile websites for the CBC, and that was two people, and now we're about 15 people um, working at that. So CBC is noticing that mobile is the trend to go, the, the, the focus that we have to, put um, yeah put focus on um, and uh, it's growing it's growing very fast we have a bunch of CBC uh, mobile apps and people are using it people are browsing the internet through mobile devices so I got to ask you about two things because this is media world this has really been under a lot of pressure certainly mm -hmm. in the US um, the business models are evolving so there's pressure to publish so mm -hmm. have publishing challenges you know CMS to yeah. the average user to publish, and publishing is done more on mobile. Then you got the processing to mm -hmm. get real time, so Node.js kind of might, might, might be a nice fit there. But then also there's a big data angle, yeah. right? So this is, these are new technologies that can help a media company be uh, nimble, yeah. faster, and provide a better product. Yeah, yeah. How do you guys look at the, some of those elements in the design side? Yeah, so we, we obviously want to have a good uh, content management to provide that and to also provide the proper templates that we need for the different platforms that we're targeting. Uh, using a CDN uh, helps CBC, or that's the, the backbone of everything, um, using uh, Akamai for that. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's How it. about uh, page load time? So one of the things that's been talked about here on the, um, the Cube is the perception of performance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> perception is reality, as yeah. all my managers used to say to me when I was working in the big company. Um, but, uh, you know, people, what people think matters. And, oh, and you yeah. become what you're known for. Yeah, if yeah. If you're slow, it yeah. doesn't matter what the back end looks like. I exactly, exactly. No, it's definitely the perception of speed, and even Steve brought that up in one of his night talks, is, is uh, if, if something is boring or if something you, you make the user wait, it feels 
slower, right? Yeah. And you, you, you page page load time is very important to us also, and, and we're working on that. Yeah. What about navigation? Some old school stuff like search navigation. Has the web evolved? I mean, finding things and Google seems to be much more. I don't want to say polluted with SEO and a lot of ads certainly, and they did do a good job of this, but you know, SEO has gotten to the point where you know, search is not becoming the preferred user experience like yeah. it used to be. Yeah. You know, you have to put social networking, you have things being pushed to you. Yeah. And the users are now connected, so they're now part of production. Yeah, yeah. So how do you guys make sense of all that? Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, search engine, search optimization is still uh, uh, an important piece, um, but um, yeah, lots of stuff is shared through Twitter. We have lots of people sharing our stories, uh, the CBC stories through Twitter, but uh, yeah, having having a good SEO set up for serving one, one URL, so that's what we're trying to do, just uh, serving the desktop URL in search uh, results, and then do the device detection, for example, to to go to mobile. You guys, yeah. is, is SEO a big part of what you guys do? Because um, that drives traffic, certainly. Yeah, it's, SEO is, is not a big piece, but because we get just, we have very loyal uh, users, right? Everybody knows the CBC, everybody knows when yeah. they want to read a story, they go to CBC to start, they yeah. not search for yeah, the story. Yeah, so you have right? a good, it's not so a big good, problem. Exactly, it's not. How about real time? Because real time is something that we've connected with Node. Node does a good job for JavaScript guys to mm -hmm. be server side on the real time, at least on the IO side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, LinkedIn had a Node.js implementation with their mobile app that was you know, well documented. But what yeah. are you guys doing on the real time side? Um, so we're, we're not doing any, we're, we're not using Node.js or anything like that, but we're pretty good with real time when it comes to news, breaking news. We're really fast with delivering that. Even we have our CBC News app uh, delivering push notification and I think it was even recent something that uh, breaking news happened and we were the first one to push that uh, to the users. So we're, we're, we're pretty good with real real time delivering news. Yeah. What have you learned on just back to performance? Because this is always fascinating. We had the Yahoo guy on, uh, well he's ex, he was ex-Yahoo. Um, he talked about the, you know, the, the little things, the animated, the GIFs in the old days and placing things, not loading this page. And uh, have you changed your strategies based upon analytics that you've found on, on what you load first and <laughs> and what, what is, what, how do you look at that now? And what are some of the thoughts behind it? Because there's visual yeah. design, and yeah. there's actually the programming side. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really, really important to, especially third party scripts, to load them asynchronously to not block the rendering. Uh, we do take care of that, or we, we do focus on that as well, because we do have lots of ads that we show on the page. We have even uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook integration, so we have to make sure that that is properly set up so that there's no How is failure. the social integration going? Um, that is that is going well. Like we're we're using uh, OAuth. Sorry. Using the OAuth. The OAuth. Uh, um, no, we're we're using actually um, Gigia as our service to do the the whole okay. authentication. So I'm not quite sure how exactly they're doing it, okay. but that's that's how we integrate with uh, with social media. Yeah. Final question for you is: sure. What have you learned that you can share with the folks out there, just in general and performance? So a lot of you guys are ahead of the curve a little bit of compared to the general. Mm -hmm. Public, especially in the media, what do you share with developers that are out there? Who are on the UI side? Who have to look at the the the, the speed, the execution? What would you share with them as best practice that you've learned yeah. over the years? Yeah, um, start collecting measurements. Like start with that first. You first understand what you want to change and wh how you want to get better, um, and then really uh, Google and Yahoo has excellent resources to make your the web faster. Follow those rules. Those are simple rules. I've done that myself. I was able to improve our site speed. Um, so this is which this tools is, are you referring to? Um, I'm using web page test um, um, like Pat's uh, Pat's implementation. It's really great uh, to get that done, and uh, also HTTP Archive. We're using Steve's uh, open source uh, product to do that, and it's it's working well. That HTTP Archive has been very, is very cool. Yeah, very it is. Cool it is project. very. It's very. Helpful. I think it's one of the nicest things I've seen out of this. It's certainly the most popular um, talked about thing on Twitter right now relative to to material. Yeah. Um, Final question on the um, user experience. Where do you, just personal perspective, not mm -hmm. the CBC, just you know, yeah. someone who's you know, got their hands in the future a little bit, but also have to you know, play with reality, because at the end of the day, yeah. you're serving up the users the product. Yeah. What do you see out there that's around the corner that might not be that obvious for the people in today's market to look at, that you have a feeling for, or a certainty for, or a vision for, that's going to be really, really important and that we should all be paying attention to? Um. I still think that we should make a distinction between mobile and desktop and not forcing the responsive design approach. Uh, not, not always, I think you still need to understand mobile is still different than desktop. 
um, and, and, and pay a lot of attention to performance on mobile because we're, we're challenged with, with latency and network connectivity issues um, and not take that for, for a normal thing, so uh, yeah, focus on that. Barbara, thanks for coming on theCUBE, I really appreciate it. Great to have you on. I, I love what you do because one, media business is a demanding business in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Never mind trying to push the envelope with all the surge mm -hmm. of traffic and then rich media. And, yeah. and uh, it certainly you're at the cutting edge. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. This is Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage. We'll be right back with our next guest here at the Velocity Conference, O'Reilly Media's Velocity Conference. This is Silicon Angle's theCUBE. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>